Hi. Hello. So um, I'm Judah. Judah Amo. Or guys, my friends call me Judah Domino. Mm -hmm. And you are? Valerie. Valerie Munini. Nice to meet you, Val. Nice to meet you too. And I'm actually excited to have this conversation with you today. Yeah, I'm also excited for us to be seated here and, you know, have this conversation. Like, so I just get to know you more. But yeah. Okay. So I'll just go straight into it and ask you, do you think sex is a must? Wait, we just, we just, we just met. So please relax. Can I, can I at least order something for us to drink? Then we can get into the details of this question because this is a really serious question, I believe. So, Okay, waiter, cool. Can I could I... have some tamarind juice. Good evening. Hello. How are you lovely today? Fantastic. How are you? How are you? Yes, she ordered for tamarind. I think I'll have the same. Right. Yeah. It looks nice. There you go, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. much. Right. Enjoy yourself. We will. Thank you. Yeah. Can you please repeat the question again? Because I. Yeah. So Judah, is sex a must? Hmm. Oof, okay. From your own perspective, from your own opinion. That's the more reason why we're having this conversation, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, for a relationship, mm -hmm. no, because I don't, I, I don't know who has died from not having sex. Actually, true. There's no st statistic showing anyone having died because they didn't have sex. Yeah, but then from uh, what, do I, what do I call it? From I think it's it's part of the package for marriage. Mm -hmm. So then we have to wait to experience that mm -hmm. when when we get there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what I believe when it comes to sex before marriage. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. For me, it would be I really don't think sex is a must in relationships because I have been in so many relationships that did involve sex. Oh, yeah. And it was amazing. I had such an amazing experience. We got to know each other better. We got to, you know, connect at a different level that didn't involve physical involvement. And yeah. I think I didn't die. So, <laughs> so, yeah, that's a, that's so a, it's actually exactly it's, it's super clear. Yeah. yeah. And this is this is what I also believe because once mm -hmm. you begin to have sex, it prevents you from really getting to know someone. It's true. Because then you are clouded by this, you know, the the whole experience of mm -hmm. sex that even going out on dates becomes hard because all the only place you know how to meet will be the bedroom and not and not like sit at a table like this where you know exactly. we get to have nice juice or tamarind and you know just get to enjoy and get to know each other and mm -hmm. get to connect. Yeah. And I feel the one thing that made me actually just, you know, focus on not engaging in sexual immorality was the consequences. Like, yeah. so many stories, so many people have been involved in sexual activities before, and then you find out, like, later, something huge has happened. And I'm not talking about pregnancy or STIs or STDs that come with, you know, getting involved physically with someone. I'm talking about the dire consequences that come out of, you know, engaging in lustful desires. Have you ever been, like, do you have any examples to cite from? Ooh. I feel like this is a really hot date currently, you know, like really, really Sips hot. Juice? Like it's it's a uh, okay. So this is the thing. Being being a a person who believes in the Bible and believes in, that the Bible is a reflection of men who have lived before us. I like Stories that. of men who have lived before I us. Like that. So now when we look into the Bible, so there's this young man. I am so. Sorry, but I like to change the names of, of the people in the Bible characters to characters I can relate with. Oh, okay, cool. So Introduce me to this character. Okay, so this guy was called Man Solo. Man Solo. Now, this story I'm about to tell you can be found from 1 Kings mm -hmm. chapter 11, verse 1 to 11. So, so yeah, guys, continue. like, you should, you should, you should take, open your Bibles and then read when you have the time after this. And... So, do you know what? Mansolo is the son of Davido. 
<laughs> not, okay. not, the, not the rapper, not the, not the artist, not the Nigerian artist, okay. David. But mm-hmm. then, of the of the Bible character, David. But he still was a cool person. Like, Mansolo was was the smartest, mm-hmm. was the wisest. Like, he was, he was lit. The definition of lit. Okay, come on, Mansolo. Like, he was a man who was always turned. Like, he had wisdom for everything for days. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, if it was food, he would slap. Like, <laughs> always. <laughs> that is oh, a thing. Oh, wow, Mansolo. So God told the people of Israel, uh-huh. do not marry from those other tribes, from any other tribe. Okay. Like marry the, your people. Uh-huh. So what, what happened was that Mansolo, uh-huh. not being satisfied with, with the women in Israel, decided to have the daughter of Pharaoh for uh-huh. a wife, decided uh-huh. to... He, okay, so in, in, a, in a nutshell, for you to understand what I'm saying, he liked... Just like Trey Song's song, that's foreign. That he likes foreign women. So he loves so many foreign women. Yes. Okay. So he dated the Ammonites, the Hittites, mm-hmm. like from all the he had like thousands of women. Wow, man, solo. Like he was, he was, and for me, getting getting that kind of attitude from the wisest man to ever live mm-hmm. was was. But then, do you know what he did? Now this is where this is where my my whole ground shake where I, I begin to think about life in a different way. Mm-hmm. So, God said, "Do not marry from all those other tribes." So it was an order given yes. before. Yes. Okay. If you do, mm-hmm. they will turn your hearts away from me, from Him, God. Okay. Now, Mansolo, being the wisest guy to ever live, you'd think otherwise. Decided <laughs> he's too wise for this for this thing, so he decided to do his own thing. Mm-hmm. Now, later on in life, he started building temples for for this woman, altars, temples, and all that. Mm-hmm. Now, when you check mm-hmm. in in history, all the people who have built temples and stuff for God mm-hmm. is because they've had. It's a sign of showing respect it's the sign of of you know telling people about god and and telling the next generation that you know this is this place where i had this conversation with god yeah. this this place where so temples and and altars and are altars, a serious yeah. thing mm-hmm. so for him to do that for all his wives it meant like the man at this point had no kind of like reference for god like he had no reverence for god he was just doing his own thing mm-hmm. so god came and was like you know what dude Man, so long. This time you messed up. Mm-hmm. Because your heart is far away from me, I will make your servants rule. I will take the kingdom from you and your servants will rule. So what you're trying to say is, Mansolo, okay, let's take it from the beginning. He loved many foreign women, Oof. which can translate to he loved having sex with them. Yes. Okay. And in the end, there's this consequence that his kingdom was stripped away from him yeah. and given to his servant. Yeah. Like, doesn't that explain it very well? Like, basically, there's always a consequence. And the thing that we're seeing with Solomon's story is that each and every um, time he engaged with his women, nothing happened. He built the altars, nothing happened. But in the end... He yeah. literally lost his kingdom to his servant. So, each and every time we keep engaging in sex, I'm like, I'm just pleasing myself. I'm just feeling good. But it's at the moment. You don't understand what's coming in future. So, what would you think? What would you tell them? You see, for me, this is the thing. We've all been given what we rule over. Okay. Because the first thing God told man is take dominion. Mm-hmm. You know, he gave man work. Mm-hmm. So we all have our talents, our passion, whatever God has placed in our hands mm-hmm. to take care of. Mm-hmm. Now we can choose to spend more time and working on these gifts and talents that we've been given, or we can choose to spend more time indulging in, in these sinful acts so and trying to please ourselves. It's a choice. Yes. Okay. Because once you go, let's say, for example, every time in my DM, Every time on Instagram, I'm DMing one chick after the other, trying to have sex with them. Ask yourself, when do you get time to pray? When do you get time to ask God questions like, what is my purpose? What is, what am I supposed to do? Because at some point, you get clouded with all this. 
women who you feel like you because you look cool now mm -hmm. and you may get lost and start thinking oh what if i was i was i was created to you know be a makeup artist as a dude okay sometimes it doesn't what you're called to do but you yeah. think because or what if i was called to sell women clothes because mm -hmm. i have a lot of girlfriends like you see those things do not make sense yeah but then if you spend more time trying to like at the feet of god and asking god what is my purpose what is this rather than masturbating or trying to, because this this was one thing i found out mm -hmm. over the, over the years my short life on earth is that once you start having sex the more reason why they say abstinence is key mm -hmm. please don't start if you've not had sex but once you've had sex from where i say it's really hard to stop mm -hmm. now you need the help of the holy spirit to break that that's kind of like that's bondage or whatever it is yeah. which happens and it's it's really a struggle so when they say don't it's for our own good yeah it's not for their and because we have more time we spend our energy mm -hmm. on trying to you know to show the world the gifts god has given to us and trying to you know build the world a better place and for me that is why most of the time i try let me say always to like get married like i really want to save myself till yeah. i get married yeah, yeah. And what I'm getting from what you're saying is the Lord has plans for us. Yeah. Like we have this amazing future because he tells us that he has plans to prosper us and give us a hope and a future. Yes. And if we are engaging in lustful desires, it means we are operating outside what he has planned for us. It might even hinder us from getting what we need to get from him or uh, establishing his plans because he's kept um, like this huge thing in us that we need to birth it. And that's what Judah is talking about, seeking him every single time you're at the feet of the Lord, asking him for help, asking him to take away everything that is not from him. So I feel like it's time for us to just, you know, yeah. look deep inside yeah. and like, what are we looking for when we keep engaging in sexual immorality or what is it that we want to find? Because I feel like we can find it in Christ. Yes, what do you think? we can. And I, I believe it's all about the kind of people you have around you. I think that's very important. Yes. That's why here in 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 MYF, in Mavuno Young and Fearless, we we try as much as possible and we do our best in in putting young people together, where we get to move forward together. We get to have these real conversations mm -hmm. and ask you, why are you struggling? Where can we keep you accountable? Yeah. Where can we have this real conversation? And ask you, like, yo, stop having sex with this person because the future may look bright now, but it may not look bright for long mm -hmm. if you keep doing this where we can hold each other's hand and then get out of this together. Yeah. So if you're watching us, let's go into a time of reflection. Like, keep ask yourself, is this the life I'm living? Are you masturbating? Are you, are you, I know you may not be in a relationship, but then is there somebody you're sleeping with? Is there somebody? And see, having sex with somebody from Jesus' story, it's not just having physical sex with a person. Yeah. It's literally looking at somebody lustfully mm -hmm. ladies do that guys do that guys ask yourself is this you as we 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 sing we go into the time of reflection i want us to have a conversation with god like real as vulnerable as you can be as vulnerable as you can with god yeah. and tell god this is where i find myself i want to come out of it because he's a god who breaks every chain mm -hmm. and he'll see you out of this but most importantly, if you've never, if you've not signed up to our i groups, a link will be on the screen. Please sign up, and let's have this conversation going. Yeah. Let's help each other. Anani Jali, Anani Jali, Sitoku Bali, Kuzama Kwenye Maji. Anani Penda Yeni Wema Oh Anani Jali Anani 
chalisi toku bali kuzama kwenye maji anani enda yeni wema oh, oh, oh your love never fails and never gives up never runs out on me your love never fails and never gives up never runs out on out on me your love your love your love never fails and never gives up never runs out on me your love never fails and never gives up never runs out on Never runs out on me Your love Your love oh. Thank you for your love, Jesus Thank you for your spirit, Lord Father, grant me self-control, love, joy, peace, patience from the bottom of me so your goodness and faithfulness teach me your kindness and gentleness. Father, grow me in your truth, my whole lifestyle be a fruit. Spirit, lead me day by day, step by step through all my ways. Father, grant me self-control, love, joy, peace, patience from the bottom of me so your goodness and faithfulness teach me your kindness and gentleness. Father, grow me in your truth, my whole lifestyle be a fruit. Spirit, lead me day by day, step by step through all my way. Shalom, shalom, shalom. In the midst of adversity To stand firm as your child, Lord Even when the world is against me Every day of my life To always walk in your truth Yeah, I long for your gifts But I also long for your fruit I want my walk to be real Teach me to hear and obey your voice I want my growth to be real time Lord all of the time Father grant me self-control love joy peace patience from the bottom of me so your goodness and faithfulness teach me your kindness and gentleness Father grow me in your truth my whole lifestyle be a fruit spirit lead me day by day step by step through all my Father, grant me self-control, love, joy, peace, patience from the bottom of me so your goodness and gentleness teach me your kindness and faithfulness. Father, grow me in your truth, my whole lifestyle be a fruit, teach me day by day, oh Lord, to always walk in your truth. Father, grant me self-control, love, joy, peace, patience. From the bottom of me soul, your goodness and faithfulness Teach me your kindness and gentleness Father, grow me in your truth Spirit, lead me day by day Spirit, lead me day by day Step by step through all my way Oh, this is our prayer, oh Lord Spirit, lead me day by day I step through all my way Lead me day by day Step by step through all my way Lead me day by day 
step by step through all my way Lead me day by day Step by step through all my way Father, this is our prayer That you would lead us in everything Every single day, every single moment That you will walk with us Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that we have even to discuss your truth about love, your truth about sex. And I pray, Father, that you would open our eyes, our eyes of understanding, that we're going to understand your truth about sex, that our knowledge of sex is going to be informed by you, by what you say. May we walk in your truth. May we walk in your guidance as we are led by your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. To stand firm as your child, oh Lord, even when the world is against me. Every day of my life to always walk in your truth. Yeah, I long for your gifts, but I also long for your fruit. I want my walk to be real. Teach me to hear and obey your voice. I want my growth to be real. Teach me to hear. time Lord all of the time Father grant me self-control love joy peace patience from the bottom of me so your goodness and faithfulness teach me your kindness and gentleness Father grow me in your truth my whole lifestyle be a fruit spirit lead me day by day step by step through Thank you very much for watching this amazing service. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure you check out our YouTube channel at Mavuno Young and Fearless. And don't forget to subscribe while at it. Peace. Kindness and faithfulness. Father, grow me in your truth. My whole lifestyle be a fruit. Teach me day by day. Oh Lord, to always walk in your truth. Father, grant me self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience from the bottom of me soul Your goodness and faithfulness Teach me your kindness and gentleness Father, grow me in your truth Spirit, lead me day by day Spirit, lead me day by day Step by step through all my way Oh, this is our prayer, oh Lord Spirit, lead me by step through all my way lead me day by day step by step through all my way lead me day by day step by step through all my way lead me day by day step by step through all my way